What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Bandora, and welcome back, everyone, to another Roblox event. This one is known as the Metallica event, and it's spread throughout five different Roblox games. And so in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get each and every single item by completing each mission in each game. Oh, but keep in mind that this event is really, really short, so you have to act on this right now as soon as you've seen this video, because this Monday, April 17th, the event will be completely over in all five five games so act fast do this now and today we're going to be starting off with survive the killer as the very first game the mission is really really easy you just have to survive to the end of any one of the maps with a 72 seasons metallica vinyl in your hand i'm going to show you guys what exactly i mean by that but it doesn't matter the map just join the lobby and escape with that vinyl here we are in one of the maps as soon as you spawn in you're gonna have to look around the map for something glowing that looks exactly like this this is the vinyl you're gonna have to walk over it and congratulations you pick up the metallica's 72 seasons album there's multiple different locations in every map so don't worry about finding them you just got to walk around the map and before you know it you'll probably find another one but now that you have the album in your hand what you have to do is survive until the end of the round meaning you have to dodge the killer don't die and then escape whenever you can i think that's around the one minute mark by the way this map is known as happy neighborhoods which is probably the easiest one to survive one of the exits it's right here as you can see everyone's already camping it because they're trying to get away when we hit the one minute mark and as long as you get a killer that's nice or maybe not that good you should be able to survive oh there's the killer can someone help me my heart it's bleeding out sir please please help me i'm so low to die please oh my gosh you saved me good sir i am forever in your debt would you like an album exits are opening exits are opening Let's get out of here! Everyone run! And that's all you do, it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Well, but you're not done yet. Once you escape with the album successfully, you're gonna wanna head to the concert area in the main lobby, which is right over here. At the bottom right, you should get the Metalhead Award, meaning you should now have unlocked the Metallica logo shades for your avatar. Now let's move on to the next game. Welcome to Frontlines, a first-person shooter, and the mission to get the Metallica item in this game is by just winning a game. Yep, be on the winning team so join a lobby hopefully you're on that winning side and oh my gosh i'm gonna get this guy he's laggy he's like he doesn't even know i'm here he doesn't even know yeah oh one two boom victory whoa i got the final kill hey and at the bottom right you should see a metallica x frontlines award badge if you get that one then you will now have the metallica band t-shirt for your avatar i cannot believe i got the final kill i joined at the perfect time and i kind of want to play this game more but unfortunately we gotta move on to the next game welcome to a pyramid phobia and in this game the mission is to find the secret metallica room that's found on level zero so when you make a room it can be any one of the game modes and make sure the level checkpoint is at zero lobby hit that start button and you will get teleported now here's where the issue lies there are multiple different spawn points on level zero and some spawn points are very far from this room so what you're gonna want to do is hope that you get the right spawn point so here is the first level and unfortunately Unfortunately, this is not the spawn point. So if you get one of the spawn points that look like this, this isn't it. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and reset and head back to the lobby. I do believe if you try to respawn, you'll just be put to the same spawn point. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a room again, press that start and hope I get the right spawn point this time. And here is the right spawn, ladies and gentlemen. So if you see a poster on the wall like this besides a Metallica poster, beside an arrow, then you know you're in the right spawn point. What you're gonna wanna do is follow along with me by going towards the arrow, but don't turn left like it's saying, turn right this way. Way, and then you're going to want to walk straight it's kind of like a diagonal going through a couple walls and then turn left right here you will see two more metallica posters so what you're going to want to do is turn your first left that you can right over this way and then you'll see another metallica poster that looks like this and that means you're in the right place when you're going this way there's no other alternate routes so you're pretty much home free all you have to do is walk all the way or run to the end here and right into this room here. When you walk in at the bottom right, you should get the Lux Eterna Award Badge, meaning that you guys have the Metallica logo baseball cap for your avatar. Now that you've done that, let's move on to the next game. Welcome to Piggy, and the mission in this game is to complete the brand new Metallica map. When you join Piggy, you'll see at the bottom left that there's an icon that shows new map. Click on it, and you will get warped to the Metallica lobby. Now, there is a big, long mission that you have to do here, but if Lux on your side, all the 
missions might be complete and you get the badge super quick. But for those of you who aren't as lucky and have to start from the beginning or you don't have good teammates, then I'll show you guys what you need to do. As soon as the cutscene's done, welcome to the brand new map. And what you're supposed to do is play those five mini games at the top that you can see there with the icons. But before you even get there, you have to unlock the turnstile in the main area. To do that, you have to find a key card that's blue that is hidden in this map. There are multiple different spawn locations, but if you're lucky like me, the spawn location will be right here. Now, the other locations will be in booths. One location is right over here. It's in the back, this spot right here. There's also one in the far booth right there. That's a red roof. And what you're going to want to do is take this one key card and put it into the turnstile underneath the yellow roof. But before you do that, go over here and play some darts. What you're trying to do is shoot the target five times. It doesn't matter if you shoot only one or all three. Just time it correctly. Shoot the target five times. It doesn't matter if it's in a row or not but you will get that success. That's one of the five mini games done just like that. Now I'm gonna take the key card and open this area up. Then when you're done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab the drum set. Now this is the drum case right here. If you saw it earlier in the video, it was actually outside by the trucks. But once you get that, an icon will show up on the screen as you can see there. And with the turnstiles unlocked, you can walk right through with the drum case and then place it down here. So we're gonna drop it. Then you have to press Q again to get the game mode started where you have to remember the order. The first one will be three, and this is the right one here. Someone just died on me. Then there's going to be remembering four and then remembering five. So here's the fourth one. One, two, three, four. You can click or use your arrow keys to hit them properly. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do one more, which is the most difficult one. And now it's my turn. A Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, and five. It's okay if you mess up once or twice, but I think if you mess up three times, you're done. That's one mini game done. And oh, why is the guitar case here? I don't know. Someone just dropped it off here, but this guitar case is also found in a specific area somewhere in one of these booths, I believe. But you can take that guitar case up over this way. The staircase will lead you there. Also, there's an icon. It's lit up. It's pretty easy once you get the cases. So we're going to bring this over here. And another one, the third mini game, will begin. Dropping it off, opening, playing that guitar. Now you have to click these buttons correctly. We're using the WASD keys or i think actually maybe you can just click oh it's even easier you just click on it but you have to click on it when the rings go on top of the button if you get too many wrong though it will say try again there's an alarm and then it's like uh oh watch out but as soon as the alarm's done you can play it again click on the buttons one two three oh i messed that one three four oh the guy's right here five six seven Eight. I believe you need to hit at least a correct. Yeah, I think it's like seven or eight correct and you will get that success. If this guy spawns on you, run. If the guy gets on top of you while you're doing the mini games, you won't die. You just have to run away as soon as the mini game is done. Okay, now there is another case. So there's three cases in total. By the way, there's a battery here. If you interact with any of the boom boxes, it will distract the bot. But after it distracts the bot for a while, he goes into sicko mode. So anyways, we got to find out where this guitar case is at. Oh, I think it's this case right here. Oh yeah, right here. I don't know if that's the spawn location or not or someone dropped it off there, but check over there. Then you just got to drop it off here and do the same thing that you did with the other guitar. This time it's a little bit slower. Oh, oh, I messed up. I messed up. It's okay. We just got to do it again. All right, trying again. One, two, and where's the third one? Okay, so I'm, this one might be bugged, but I only hit it twice and success. Now with the fourth mini game down, there's one more. It's right over here. You're going to have to walk a tightrope by clicking the right time a d a you have to do it three times but if you mess up more than i think twice or three times you're gonna have to restart the whole thing over again you have to click three at each checkpoint and i believe there are four checkpoints so this is the third one. Oh, i messed up once but it's okay because we got three in a row this is the fourth one right here i believe one two three once you do that you can see that it's lit up here you have to collect the fishing rod by the porta potty so this is the fishing rod miss hello is gonna get it and she has to take it over to this blue icon over there it's another porta potty so let's follow this person where, where are you going no 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 where are you going no 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 you don't bring it to him the icon was lit up no what okay well we're gonna have to do it ourselves it seems like oh my gosh all right so when you do that Grab that fishing rod, walk over to the blue icon. Do not walk to him like the girl did. 
because you'll die. But it's okay because the fishing rod will spawn back. You're gonna have to go here, unlock the great sword, and then grab that sword. And now, pressing one, you have it equipped on your body. When you have it equipped, walk up to the bot. But don't die to him before you actually smack him. So you gotta go like this. You see, left click or tap, and boom! You blow up the bot at the bottom right. You get the Metallica Event Award, meaning you have completed the mission and got yourself the Metallica X Piggy Vest. Also, there's another cutscene and stuff, but you, you don't have to stick around for that. Let's move on to the final game. Welcome to Deep Woken. And unfortunately for a lot of you guys, you might not be able to do this part because it costs 400 Robux to access this game. The way you get the final item for this event is by going to the pit and reaching a score of 100 or above. But if you're new and confused like me, just follow what I do to get to the pit. You're gonna want to create your own character. I'm gonna make a new one right here and make sure to join a super small lobby. Try to join the smallest one you can. Here we are creating a character. You can randomize whatever you want here, but at the bottom where it says origin, click on it, and then you're gonna wanna choose the Isle of Vigil. So I'm gonna finalize this character. Now once you spawn, you're gonna be in one of the rooms of the temple. You have to head on outside of the temple and then follow where I go because it's really darn close. There is a door in a wall that's kind of yellow and brown. Yep, right over here, you're gonna wanna push Push the door and enter this 72 seasons concert. Now, what you're trying to do, like I said earlier, is surviving inside the middle of the pit. There's a counter on top of your character, as you see there. It is going a lot slower than I thought. I thought it was 100 seconds, not like 100 million seconds. Why is it so darn slow? But yeah, you have to survive until this number goes to 100. Now, the problem is, and why I say to go to a small server, is that people are going to want to fight you to get you out of there just so that you don't get that item. I know, it's annoying, but thankfully, I joined a super, super small server, and hopefully no one's gonna be in here. Two thousand years later. And as you guys can see there, as soon as you hit 100 score, you will get the Metalhead Award at the bottom right, meaning you now have the Metallica M Pendant for your avatar. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, you now should have all five Metallica items for this event. If this video helped you out, be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later in another event video. This is Twisted Manora signing off, and as always, don't forget to stay snazzy!